It's me, Bree Reads! Hi, friends! It's me, Bree! Happy Halloween! Today, let's make Halloween trick or treat bags like this! Let's start with a Frankenstein monster bag! I started with a plain brown bag, colored paper, felt, scissors, glue, and a pencil. With my Frankenstein skin green color, I placed the bag on top. This is one I just recycled. And I'm tracing along the outside. This works great if you don't already have a colored bag. We'll just be gluing the paper on top. This makes it a perfect fit. Now I cut it out and use my glue stick to glue it on top. I'm leaving the back empty or blank, but you're welcome to decorate it on yours. Next, it's time to design some monster hair. I'm using a piece of black paper and folding it like this. I'm trying to get a measurement of about what size I want it to be. Next, I'll go in and create some zigzag or triangle cuts to give the hair some spiky edges and glue it down. With my pencil and some white paper, I'm drawing a circle shape. This will be for the eyes. I want two eyes that are the exact same size. So I draw one circle and fold my paper. It will be like a stencil. I hold my paper closed and cut around. Then I've got two identical eyeballs. I'm doing the same thing with black paper, drawing one smaller circle for the pupil, holding the fold closed and cutting around. Now these are two circles of the same size. Next is the monster's mouth. My monster's going to be a bit friendly. I measure the distance I want it between the eyes and I create a little tooth with this kind of square shape down and around to close the mouth and cut it out. I notice some of the gray pencil lines, so I use my eraser to remove those. And then I glue down all the pieces. Two monster eyes and one monster mouth. Now, I'm going to add some special touches, like bolts in the neck and a scar on top of his forehead. I'm using black paper and making a kind of railroad track design. Line over, up, over, down. Over, up, over, down. These are going to be stitches. I'll do the same on the bottom side this time going the other way. Over, up, over, down. Over, up, over, and close. Carefully, I cut out these shapes. This time I don't go in to erase the lines. I just turn it over. And I glue it down. Next are the bolts for the neck. I use a piece of felt that's gray and I draw one bolt design on this side. It's kind of like a screw or a nail. You can also think of it like a T shape. Letter T. I place it on top of the other piece and cut it out so they're the same. Glue them down, and that's it. The monster bag is finished. You can use this to go trick-or-treating. 
And now, we'll make a Halloween bat! I start with another plain bag, more colored paper, scissors, glue, and a pencil. Hey, we have a visitor! Hello, Ferdinand! Now, I'm tracing the purple paper onto my bigger bag. This paper's bigger too. I got it at the craft store. Now, I cut it out. Next, I fold a piece of white paper. I'm going to make two eyes, here and here. I want them to be the same size, just like the monster. So I draw one circle. With the paper folded, when I cut it out, I've got two that are the same. For the bat mouth, I'm making fangs. So I'm drawing upside down triangle shapes. Then I'll go down and around to close the mouth. Then I cut it out. We need pupils. I'll use some smaller black scrap paper to draw smaller black circles. If you want to make sure your circle is super round, find something you can trace about the same size. I go around the lid of this glue stick. My cat Ferdinand was very interested in this project, so of course we stopped to pet him. Now we glue it all together. For the bat's wings, I decided to use purple felt, but you're welcome to use paper, that works too. I cut out longer triangles and then free draw the wing shape that I like on just one. Once I get to the bottom here, I start to do these curved lines. That will give the wings some sharp edges, points. And because I want it to be the same on both sides, I put the two pieces of felt on top of each other and cut out around the lines I made. There! They're two of the same! I'm going to sandwich them between the purple paper and the bag. When I put the glue down and the paper on top, they get kind of stuck in between. Now, I'm adding some ribbon to the handle to make it extra special. I had this velvet purple ribbon already. You might have some at home too. Use whatever you have. You could even color it with a marker. Use your creativity! I do the same thing on the other side, wrapping it around and around and around. And just securing it with a glue stick at the bottom. That was strong enough for me. All done! For this one, we'll make a big jack-o'-lantern! This bag was so big that I didn't have orange paper to cover it, so I'm using paint. And all the supplies I had before. This time, I'm painting a layer of orange on top of the bag. I place some paper underneath it so I don't paint the table. While that dries, I'm going to make the face pieces. I fold my black paper in half and I draw on this side a mouth because I only need one. I'm making teeth like this. Small square shapes that go up, over, and down into the mouth. Then close it up. I cut it out. Just following my lines. This time, I fold my black paper because I want two of the eyes to be the same. I draw a big triangle for the eyes and I've got two. Next is a nose. I just need one so I'm using a scrap paper and cutting out a smaller triangle. Then I place it on my bag and glue it.
to make the handles extra special, I'm using this thick ribbon. I measure two sides for the same length and cut off the original handles. For this project, I need a strong glue. This is hot glue. You'll definitely need help from a grown-up to use hot glue. I glue down both sides. And I'm finished! And last but not least, just for fun, let's make a crazy monster! <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a huge grocery bag and all of these craft materials that I had at my house. Big googly eyes and colorful furs and feathers. I'm going to cut off this piece and use it like a mustache for my monster. Next, I'm going to cut out two sides for the paws. My monster kind of looks like a rainbow dog, but I'm just making it up and having fun. I want the mouth to go here, so I'm using a piece of black paper and measuring how big I want it to look. When I'm happy with my pencil sketch, I cut it out with my scissors. I decided to use these funky pipe cleaners as eyelashes. If you're making your own character like me, use whatever you already have. It'll be special and unique. I decided to put a pink tongue on my creature. And I made round edges for the bottom here. I'm using purple feathers for the eyebrows. And these pom-poms? I'm going to put them here, like they're painted toenails. Most everything I'm able to glue down with just my glue stick, even the pom-poms. For the eyes, I tried the glue stick, but they're rather large and heavy. And for these pipe cleaners, it worked best to put it down with some tape. So that's what I did for the eyeballs too. I'm cutting off the extra so the tape doesn't show from underneath. Experiment and see what works best for you. Have fun! Thank you for creating with me today, friends. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time.